Hey there, friends. Thanks for checking in. Just yesterday on Tuesday, New Mexico Governor Michelle Lujan Grisham signed into law a red flag order. What that means is that somebody can make a complaint against a gun owner. Once approved by a judge, law enforcement would go to that person's residence and confiscate their guns. Now, she has been doing horrible things in New Mexico. I think many people would agree that she's an anti-gun liberal who cannot stand law-abiding gun owners. And I find this completely unconstitutional and illegal. In Maryland, last year, a man lost his life because law enforcement went to confiscate his guns. He refused to give them up and he was shot to death. And it was later revealed that he was not a threat to anybody to begin with. It was a false order that was complained against him. <clears throat> now, what's interesting about this is that there is no due process. There is no notice that these claims have been made against them and that their guns are confiscated before a crime has even been committed. And there are... People talking about this, uh, legislatures throughout the country talking about how this is a good thing. Now, the New Mexico governor's response was this would have prevented the Parkland shooting. But if we look at that, this kid did and said what he was going to do. Law enforcement was notified. They did nothing. School officials were notified. They did nothing. Then when he did what he said he was going to do, they say, see, that's that's the guns. We, we, we need to do this totally illegal from beginning to end. They did absolutely nothing. Uh, they didn't make any contact or anything like that with, with this kid who was putting out violent things online and against individuals, and now they want to go after legal gun owners. It, it's an unbelievable situation that's happening in New Mexico and other places. But what I am waiting for is one person to get their guns confiscated, and then a violent crime happened to them when they had no means to protect themselves. I would like to know what the government is going to do when they disarm somebody, and then that person ends up seriously injured or dead. Nobody talks about that, but that is a very important point in this whole argument. Now, what's happening in New Mexico is that the Sheriff's Association's pres president said, we're not going to enforce this because we don't work for the government, we don't work for the legislature, and we work for the people who elected us. And now, the, the governor, Lujan Grisham, said, if you don't enforce this, you should resign. And I don't think any of the sheriffs plan to resign anytime soon. So what we have here, much like Virginia and so many other places is a showdown in New Mexico and we're going to see how this whole thing falls out because these confiscation orders ultimately could be a grudge against somebody they don't like. It could be something that they may have said that was taken the wrong way. It could be something that was posted on social media. It's just a, a mere picture. We are watching people who post a picture of their gun and getting arrested. This happened in, in the uh, Upper Peninsula of Michigan. A young man posted a picture of his rifle. A uh, young lady said that that was a violent act and that person got arrested. Really unbelievable some of the things going on right now. Some of the things that the uh, these anti-gunners want to impose on legal law-abiding gun owners without any thought or, or compassion about their safety and protection. It all has to do with grabbing those guns and after that person has to go to court, spend an incredible amount of money to defend themselves, once they are deemed, okay, maybe this isn't as bad as we thought it was, you know, a year or two later, we'll give them back their guns. They are out so much money and time and stress and everything else all based on a false claim so you, you see some people say well these aren't that bad we need to we need to get the guns first and then we'll talk to that person it's illegal no due process and it should never be done and it also creates a dangerous situation like what happened in maryland and other situations where somebody does not have the means to protect themselves because their guns were illegally confiscated if you like videos like this please subscribe and share i always appreciate thumbs up button thanks for watching and you guys be safe